After studying this module, you shall be able to know about chlorophyll and its structure and uses. Study the process of photosynthesis in detail. Study the absorption spectra of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Analyze the reaction scheme of chlorophyll with acid and base. Know about numerous health effects of chlorophyll and identify rich sources of natural chlorophylls. Chlorophyll Chlorophyll is a molecule that traps the most elusive of all powers and is called a photoreceptor. It is found in the chloroplast of green plants and is what makes green plants green. The basic structure of a chlorophyll molecule is a porphyrin ring coordinated to a central atom. Initially, it was assumed that chlorophyll was a single compound, but in 1864, Strokes showed by spectroscopy that chlorophyll was a mixture. If dried leaves were powdered and digested with ethanol, after concentration of the solvent, crystalline chlorophyll was obtained. If ether or aqueous acetone is used, instead of ethanol, the product is amorphous chlorophyll. In 1912, Will Stater et al. showed that chlorophyll was a mixture of two components, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. Structure of chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B is shown in this figure. The porphyrin ring is shown in red color. Magnesium is the central unit of chlorophyll. And chlorophyll A has methyl unit and chlorophyll B has aldehyde unit. The two components were separated by shaking a light petroleum solution of chlorophyll with aqueous methanol. Chlorophyll A remains in the light petroleum but chlorophyll B is transferred into the aqueous methanol. Chlorophyll A is a bluish black solid and chlorophyll B is a dark green solid, both giving a green color in organic solutions. In natural chlorophyll, there is a ratio of 3 to 1 that is of A to B, 3 times A is present as compared to 1 times of B of the two component. Both of these two chlorophyll are very effective photoreceptor because they contain a network of alternating single and double bonds and the orbitals can delocalize stabilizing the structure. Such delocalized poly polynes have very strong absorption band in the visible region of the spectrum allowing the plants to absorb the energy from sunlight. The structure that is the absorption spectra of chlorophyll A and B are shown in this color. Chlorophyll A is in green color and the band of chlorophyll B is in the red color. Different side groups of the two chlorophylls tune the absorption spectrum to a slightly different wavelength so that light that is not significantly absorbed by chlorophyll A at say 460 nanometer will instead be captured by chlorophyll B which strongly absorbs at that wavelength. Thus these two kinds of chlorophyll complement each other in absorbing sunlight. The absorption spectrum of chlorophyll shows that it absorbs strongly in the red and blue violet region of the visible spectrum. Because it absorbs red and blue violet light, the light it reflected and transmit appears green. This is again the figure which shows the UV visible absorption spectrum for chlorophyll. Absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A to be precise. Chlorophyll absorbs so strongly that it can mask other less intense colors. Some of these more delicate colors from molecules such as carotene and curocetrine are revealed when the chlorophyll molecule decays in the autumn and the woodlands turn red, orange and golden brown. Chlorophyll can also be damaged when vegetation is cooked since the central magnesium atom is replaced by hydrogen ions. This affects the energy level within the molecule causing its absorbance spectrum to alter. Thus cooked leaves change color often becoming a paler in spirit yellowy green. Chlorophyll in leaves decays in the autumn. So the, in the figure shown that the green color fades and is replaced by the oranges and reds of carotenoids. The chlorophyll molecule is the active part that absorbs the sunlight but just as with hemoglobin 
in order to do its job that is synthesizing carbohydrates it needs to be attached to the backbone of a very complicated protein this protein may look half a z in design but it has exactly the correct structure to orient the chlorophyll molecule in the optimal position to enable them to react with nearby carbon dioxide and water molecule in a very efficient manner several chlorophyll moieties are lurking inside this bacterial photoreceptor protein that is bacterial photoreceptor protein due to the green color of chlorophyll it has many uses as dyes and pigments it is using coloring soaps oils waxes and confectioneries chlorophyll's most important use however is in nature in photosynthesis it is capable of channelizing the energy of sunlight into chemical energy through the process of photosynthesis in this process the energy absorbed by chlorophyll transforms carbon dioxide and water into carbohydrates and oxygen the chemical energy stored by photosynthesis in carbohydrates derives biochemical reaction in nearly all living organisms the actual chemical equation which takes place is a reaction between carbon dioxide and water catalyzed by sunlight to produce glucose and a waste product oxygen the glucose sugar is either directly used as an energy source by the plant for metabolism or growth or is polymerized to form starch so it can be stored until needed the waste oxygen is excreted into the atmosphere where it is made used by the plants and animals for respiration as shown in this reaction carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll combines to give glucose and oxygen in the photosynthetic reaction electrons are transferred from water to carbon dioxide that is carbon dioxide is reduced by water chlorophyll exists this transfer as when chlorophyll absorbs light energy an electron in chlorophyll is excited from a low energy state to a high energy state in this higher energy state this electron is more readily transferred to another molecule this starts a chain of electron transfer steps which ends with an electron being transferred to carbon dioxide meanwhile the chlorophyll which gave up an electron can accept an electron from another molecule this is the end of a process which starts with the removal of an electron from water thus chlorophyll is at the center of photosynthesis oxidation reduction reaction between carbon dioxide and water other molecules with structure similar to that of chlorophyll play important roles in other biochemical electron transfer that is oxidation reduction reaction heme consists of a porphyrin similar to that in chlorophyll and an iron 2 ion in the center of porphyrin heme is bright red in the red blood cells of vertebrates heme is found to protein forming hemoglobin hemoglobin combines with oxygen in the lungs gills or other respiratory surfaces and releases it in the tissues in muscle cells Myoglobin the name given to hemoglobin in muscles stores oxygen as an electron source for energy releasing oxidation reduction reactions another relative of chlorophyll is vitamin b12 vitamin b12 contains a cobalt ion at the center of the porphyrin like heme vitamin b12 is a bright red it is essential to digestion and nutritional absorption in animals the exact way it function is not known because vitamin b12 is not produced by higher plants a strictly vegetarian diet can lead to vitamin b12 deficiency however it is produced by molds and bacteria which grow on most foods the intense color of chlorophyll suggests that it may be useful as a commercial pigment in fact chlorophyll a is a green dye that is natural green 3 used in soaps and cosmetic commercial pigments with structure similar to chlorophyll have been produced in a range of color some of these have slightly modified porphyrin such as having hydrogen atoms replaced with chlorine atoms other have different metal ions for example one bright 
blue pigment has a copper 1 ion at the center of the porphyrin and is used primarily in coloring fabrics. Simple reactions of chlorophylls. Treatment of chlorophyll A with acid removes the magnesium ion replacing it with two hydrogen atoms giving an olive brown solid tacophytin A. Hydrolysis of this that is reverse of esterification splits off phytol and gives pacophorite B. Similar compounds are obtained if chlorophyll B is used. As shown in this reaction, this is the overall reaction scheme for the hydrolysis of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll A when it is it get hydrolysis and when water gets combined with it. Chlorophyll can also be reacted with a base which yields a series of phylines magnesium porphyrin components. Treatments of phylines with acids give porphyrin. As shown in this scheme, this is the overall scheme for the reaction of alkaline with chlorophyll. This the reaction is shown with chlorophyll A. Extraction of chlorophyll from plants. In plants chlorophyll is associated with specific proteins. For example, chlorophyll A binding protein are referred to as CP1. CP47 and CP43. With improving biochemical techniques for use on the membrane system, there has been an ever increasing su success in the isolation and characterization of these proteins. Initially, detergents are used to break down the membrane with into fragments and these fragments are further broken down by the use of different detergents. These detergents work by replacing the membrane lipids which surround integral membrane protein. The resulting particles are separated by polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis. This is a standard biochemical method that is polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis in the presence of sufficient detergent to keep them solubilized. The activity and polypeptide composition can then be assayed as the particle is purified. The detergents work by substituting lipids at different spots in the membrane. This is also affected by the concentration of the detergent. One such detergent that is very commonly used is SDS-PAGE that is sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacryl amide. This is generally used as it has several advantages over other detergents. The separation can be carried out fairly rapidly and it also gives a good overall picture of the distribution of the chlorophyll. Health benefits of chlorophyll. One of the best health benefits we gain from following a law living foods diets are the numerous health benefits from chlorophyll. One of the most interesting aspect, aspect of chlorophyll is how closely it resembles our red blood cells known as hemoglobin. The pigment that gives our blood its red color as well as oxygen carrying capacity. The hemoglobin of the red blood cells and the chlorophyll of the plants are virtually identical in molecular structure with the only difference being the center atom. In hemoglobin it is iron and its chlorophyll its magnesium. Chlorophyll is often very often referred to as the green blood of plants obviously for the good reason. Blood cleanser, blood builder and oxygen booster. This extremely similarity is what makes chlorophyll so beneficial to our health because it's such a powerful blood cleanser and blood builder. Chlorophyll delivers a continuous energy transfusion into our bloodstream, replenishing and increasing red blood cell count. And since hemoglobin carries oxygen to our cells, increasing hemoglobin thereby increasing the ability of red blood cells to carry oxygen and delivers as increased level of oxygen and this is a very good thing. Disease promoting anaerobic bacteria cannot live and th thrive in the presence of oxygen. It's also known that disease can't thrive in an alkaline environment either. Lucky for us, chlorophyll is both a potent oxygenator and helps alkalize our blood. It thus helps our bodies fight off disease. All these benefits direct effects on, on strengthening our immune system and enhancing several energy levels and well-being. Detoxification Healthy blood flow and an abundance of oxygen also helps the body 
to cleanse itself of toxic impurities lending to chlorophyll detoxification properties. Chlorophyll has also been shown to improve the detrimental effects of radiation and has also been linked to cancer prevention. Chlorophyll binds with toxin like heavy metals and helps remove them from the body. It can also stimulate bowel movements and it is a great aid in colon cleansing. Overall benefit of chlorophyll The range of health benefits to gain from chlorophyll is nothing short of miraculous. It is known to improve the health of circulatory, digestive, immune and detoxification system of the body, leading to many different and overlapping health benefits. The figure shows the benefit of chlorophyll which are numerous like blood builder, oxygen booster, cleans blood, relieves uh, gutter alkylation and so on. The numerous health benefits of chlorophyll are cleansing and oxygenates and builds the blood, a powerful detoxification effect on the body, rich in enzymes that promote quick rejuvenation of our cells, high in immuno acids, extract toxic from the liver and improve liver function, regulator of calcium, helps break addiction, alkanize the body, anti-inflammatory, wound healing properties, fight infection, antioxidant, neutralize free radical, promotes healthy intestinal flora, helps reverse protein deficient anemia, protection from cancer and helps skin disorders. Sources of chlorophyll Essentially, any green plant that you consume contains some level of chlorophyll as this is what gives it a green color. But some foods are higher in chlorophyll than others. Generally speaking, the darker the green vegetable, the more chlorophyll. So dark leafy green vegetables are a great source, especially dino kale and other kale varieties, Swiss cod and darker green light argilla. Adding herbs like parsley and cilantro are also great ways to spruce up our salads and increase chlorophyll content in your diet. Blue-green algae such as spinona and chlorella are also especially high in chlorophyll as are all sprouts. Weedgrass has one of the highest sources of chlorophyll available. Juicing it on a regular basis can have powerful detoxification effects. Chlorophyll are the most abundant pigment in plants. Dark green leafy vegetables like spinach are the rich source of natural chlorophylls. Chlorophyll's content of selected vegetables are presented in the table which shows that spinach, parsley, the green beans, leeks, endive, these are the rich source of chlorophyll as in shows in the order summary. In this module, you have learned chlorophyll is a naturally occurring molecule that gives plant their green color and is responsible for facilitating one of the most incredibly miraculous processes on earth the process of photosynthesis. Due to the green color of chlorophyll, it has many uses as dyes and pigments. It is used in coloring soaps, oils, waxes and confectionery. The chemical energy stored by photosynthesis in carbohydrates derives biochemical reaction in nearly all living organisms. As the chlorophyll in leaves decays in the autumn, the green color fades and is replaced by the oranges and the red, reds of cotinoids. Chlorophyll derives a continuous energy transfusion into our bloodstream, replenishing and increasing red blood cell count. Healthy blood flow and an abundance of oxygen also helps the body to cleanse itself of toxic impurities, lending to chlorophyll detoxification properties. Chlorophyll has also been shown to improve the detrimental effect of radiation and has also been linked to cancer prevention. Chlorophyll is known to improve the health of the circulatory, digestive, immune and detoxification system of the body, leading to many different and overlapping health benefits. Dark green leafy vegetables like spinach are the rich sources of natural chlorophylls.